More and more leaks on AMD's second generation Ryzen processors are making their way to us, from pricing to benchmarks and more. Plus, it looks like ASRock is jumping on the GPU bandwagon. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. First up for today, we have some leaked pricing and specs on both the 2700X and 2600X. Both of these prove this recently leaked slide to be accurate, with the 2600X priced right at €249, Euros, which usually ends up costing similar when priced at dollars, even though the Euro has more value. The 2600X also has a turbo clock of 4.25GHz. The 2700X, on the other hand, is priced at 369 with a turbo clock of 4.35GHz. Speaking of the 2700X, the new Ryzen 7 CPU was found on 3D Mark Firestrike with a pretty impressive physics score of 20,909 with the boost at 4.2 GHz. Of course, these scores can change by quite a bit with higher clocks and just from one benchmark to the next, but WCCF Tech puts it at around an 18% boost in performance compared to the 1700X and 11% to the 1800X. The i7-8700K usually has between a 20,000 and a 23,000 point score. Also, for those who don't know, it seems the 2700X might be the new flagship Ryzen processor, unless AMD plans on releasing a 2800X at a future time, or they're just doing a great job at keeping it under wraps. Next up, found by video cards before it was taken down, Sysoft released a review of both the Ryzen 7 2700X and Ryzen 5 2600. There aren't anything like gaming benchmarks, and most of it is actually comparing the two against the 1700X and Intel 6700K, so it doesn't give us much to go off of. With that said, AMD has clearly worked hard on their upgraded Zen Plus architecture with lower latency, slightly faster core communication, and much faster cache bandwidth. You can see the latency has been lowered by a decent margin, but the CCX modules are still holding the processor back slightly. And with that said, with the rumored better RAM support, these numbers could get better. Then comes the bandwidth of the cache. As you can see, it's gone up drastically, up to 32% actually, which should be a nice addition to keep these mini cores fed. And if WCCF Tech's supposed sources are accurate and the 2700X can reliably get to 4.4 GHz, then these CPUs are bound to impress. Lastly for today, rumors had been stirring on ASRock, a very well-known motherboard maker, joining third-party OEMs to build discrete graphics cards. And it seems they were right, with this cool new teaser clearly showing off a very sleek looking dual fan GPU. It's anyone's guess as to whose graphics chip is embedded, but most rumors point to an exclusive deal with AMD, possibly thanks to Nvidia's partner program, though that part isn't confirmed. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Ready for ASRock to sell cards you can't buy, or just want AMD's Ryzen 2000 series? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.